Hello, my name is Nathan Solberg, and this is my entry into the Ubisoft Toronto NXT Programming Showcase. So for this showcase, we were tasked with recreating the uh, classic game Asteroids um, and adding a new innovative gameplay kind of mechanic to it. Um, to that, I know I didn't really add much uh, gameplay-wise. Uh, that's innovative, but what I did try to do was emulate the original as closely as I could um, while still staying um, clean and, and technical with my code. No real shortcuts or, or any kind of uh, background kind of fixes. Um, so with that I, I really just tried to, to make it as, as close as possible. And to start with that, um, Everything is, is done using a custom vector class that I made, a vector 2D. And um, even the graphics uh, use it in some way. Every, every object on the screen um, has a, a small vector list of, of points that it uses as reference to draw its lines, as well as to essentially um, determine where, where its, its boundaries are, uh, which I use later for collision. Um, the collision itself is is uh, testing all the points on my ship and of my bullets against uh, each point of those against each point of the asteroids um, using a quick ray trace uh, method which essentially just draws a line out to forever and uh, checks how many of the uh, lines it intersects of the asteroid. Um, it's a pretty quick method and it and allows for some pretty uh, pixel perfect uh, collisions um, without much tax uh, as well um, t to try and keep uh, the taxation down um, everything on the screen uses or is a part of a large object pool that is used for uh, passing around updates uh, draw calls and uh, as well as using for checking collision To add on to that, there's also a asteroid manager that has a uh, a personal kind of object list that just holds asteroids on the screen, and its job is to kind of regulate them. So right now they're they're doing their own thing. They they have a forward vector that they travel along along a, a velocity, but uh, with the asteroid manager, um, even the three that were spawned here, each design was was chosen by the the manager as well as placement when when you spawned and even stuff like when I shoot it and explodes and when I die um, those were all controlled by the manager so splitting it apart spawning the new ones um, and determining kind of new directions for it to go in are all part of the manager once it kind of figures that out the asteroids are free to just travel on their own um, the same as with the missiles uh, the ship has a little object pool of all its missiles that it can shoot and it manages those itself to to determine what's available for the player to use at that time as well as uh, whether or not they've they've been destroyed or not so when they they destroy they kind of just disappear for a while into the object pool and uh, await to essentially just be brought back so I don't destroy and create them a bunch I just kind of keep them off to the side But, um, so, to move on, um, the physics themselves, as I mentioned before, use the vector 2D class a lot. Um, I use a directional vector for everything on the screen. So the ship itself, uh, all the asteroids, they all have a forward moving uh, vector or a direction vector. And then they have a force applied to them, in this case a velocity, that they travel along in a uniform manner. Um, other than the ship who, using controls from the uh, W key, gets a, a force uh, added onto an acceleration that uses to add on to its um, velocity to push it along. Um, as well as having a forward vector, the ship has its own current vector, which I'll show here with my uh, little, little check to see my, my vector here. Um, just a little pressing the tab brings up my almost like a little debug kind of function. 
and as you can see the purple line extends as it shows kind of where my current velocity is pointing and uh, it slows down as I let go of the key using the slight resistance from from the world to uh, to drag me down to to zero um, unless of course I'm I'm accelerating then it just lets me float freely um, as in the original game and you can also see my uh, my red uh, line is my forward vector that I travel along. Um, using that as well, um, whenever I spawn one of my bullets, um, just like how the asteroid manager determines a direction for the asteroids, the ship uses its forward vector to give a direction for the bullets to you to travel along when fired out. So to restart the game. Um, yeah. Um, again, the purpose of this was to try and emulate the uh, original game as much as possible, which was actually a lot more fun than um, than I'd actually had at other game jams. Um, but uh, the though the physics was a was a bit of a task, the uh, the rest of it came together pretty well. I think that's it for the rest of it. Uh, I use a, a basic math class to to check randomness for directions to, to push them in, and as I stated before, for the for the um, collision check using a ray trace method. Um, I use my vector class to do pretty much everything from the points to draw on directions to move. Um, it's used quite a bit, being a vector-based game. Um, I have a object pool that's made up of the base object, or simple mesh, and everything that you see on the screen is a simple mesh, um, other than the score up here. And then I use a couple of managers, an asteroid manager for this, and a score manager for this, for the score up in the corner, to uh, feature the gameplay. And essentially, it's just as the original uh, game is you destroy all the asteroids and uh, a new wave pops up um, using the asteroid manager which essentially cleans up the uh, the object pool of asteroids and recreates them in the various directions and sizes that uh, for that level and as the game goes on it kind of gets more increased in, in difficulty both with this and just by putting more and more on the screen That is my entry into the Ubisoft uh, Toronto NXT Challenge. Um, hope you enjoyed.